Miss Norton? I thought I'd go out of my mind. Lieutenant August, Sergeant Willards. I'm sorry. Ever since I stepped into that kitchen, I've been shaking. The report we got said it was your brother's house. That's right, George Ord. He's out of town on business. Where? I'm not sure. He travels a lot. He sells advertising for several trade journals. Would you mind showing us? No, it's this way. Aunt Lee? I'll go back inside, honey. Can't I come with you? You watch the TV and tell me what I've missed. All right. She doesn't know? She came over to my house and said her mother wasn't home. Well, she always comes over when Marion's gone, so I didn't think anything of it. But then she said there was a terrible mess in the kitchen. The door's just around the corner. I, uh, I'd better get back to Margaret. That's fine, Mrs. Miller.
was the one who always said Fridays were dull in this town. Lieutenant August, let me have Chief Unemeyer. Chief, that call was for real. No, we haven't spotted a body yet. We just got here. Charlie, you check the grounds. I'll go through the house. Yeah, yeah, you better send the boys in the lab as soon as you can. Or I can see you here. steps is all. Garage. Yeah, 62 Ford sedan, light colored, registered to a Mrs. Marion Ord. Check the hospital. Think she could have gotten that far? Well, somebody could have taken her. And there was a somebody. Okay. Sergeant Willens, you will check all hospitals emergency, please, for a Mrs. Marion Ord. That's M-A-R-I-A-N-O-R-D, Marion Ord. Yeah, county reported to hit run on Highway 1, but that's the only emergency all day. By the way, I checked the rest of the house. Nothing. Except the deep freeze out there. Chief, 
Oh, Charlie. Get this to Rivera, please. Right. What about the body, Dan? So far, there isn't any. Well, I've called the sheriff's department. They'll pick up any suspicious hitchhikers or transients. Well, that's good. Not really, but I had to work through Sheriff Muntz. It's out of his jurisdiction. I know, I know, but he insists on cooperating with us. You mean he smells publicity? Yeah. Well, might as well take a look. When's all you want? Slaughterhouse. Right in there. I notified the press, so the locals will be descending any minute. Gordon, you'd better wait outside, head off those reporters. You, uh, you can get a set off that. I doubt it. Whatever there was got all smeared up. Mm. You got here pretty fast, Floyd. It's murder, isn't it? Well, there's evidence of physical violence, Sheriff, but uh, no corpse. Have you been looking for it? No, not really. You know how it is. The corpse is so messy and everything. Meanwhile, if uh, you don't mind, we'll take a look around. Might find something you've missed. All right, Munts. But I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't interfere with the lab boys. They're professionals. That's close to impertinence, Lieutenant. Too bad. I thought I made it all the way. Look, you have to wait till I get the okay. Everything all right, Gordon? Under control, sir. Just relax, fellas. You'll get your story, all right? Just one shot, Mrs. Miller. Please let us in. Oh, come on, Mrs. Miller. Just one shot of you and that girl, Margaret. Look, we have a lot of peace. We stay have a right. Going on, Maddox. Nothing, Lieutenant. They won't go away. Do you invite them here? All we want is a shot of the little girl. Lady said no, Maddox. Look, Lieutenant, there are 35,000 people in Santa Luisa. They got a right to know what's going on here. We got freedom of the press in this town. Yeah, that's right, Maddox. And I've got the freedom to crack open the head of a couple of trespassers. Let's go, Ken. Thank you, Lieutenant. Did you find her? No. I'm sorry about Maddox. He's not a bad guy, but a case like this seems to bring out the worst in people. A case like this? What I mean is a wino is found beaten to death in an alley. Nobody cares. But something happens to a young, attractive woman like Mrs. Ord, and suddenly the whole world's got an interest. I don't know. Maybe it's resentment that something beautiful was taken away from them. In Marion's case, I'm not sure that's altogether true. Would you care to explain, Mr. Miller? Just that Marion was no better or worse than anyone else. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd better fix Margaret's dinner. How long do you think it'll be before you get this thing wrapped up? Oh, I can't tell, but I can tell you this. I'm putting as many men on this case as I can spare. And I suppose uh, Chief Hunter and I will do the same. I'll also tell you this, that any disclosure, any development, any news, I'm going to get to you guys as soon as I can. And I want full and proper disclosure in the papers of all these events. 